and my name is Erin Tyler Sinks, and I am a 21-year-old artist from Chicago, but I'm now living in Indianapolis. Um, I've been out as trans since I was a senior in high school. I love, I love drawing, dancing, singing. Um, I love my job too. I love working. Since I was a kid, I kind of always saw myself more male. When I was, I would like tell other kids that my name wasn't my legal name, but it was just some random guy's name. And I guess growing up through doing little, you know, little things like that as a kid, it just kind of developed into something more where I felt like this, this isn't really, I'm not comfortable with this, uh, like as in all of me. And just, it was, it was tough with, you know, parents that were kind of like not strict on it. My mom didn't really care, but my dad was more like pushing all this girly stuff on me. And it was, difficult trying to, you know, shape myself out of the things that I was told to be or things that I was told to do. It just came to a point where I was like, I don't like this. I don't like being called a girl. I don't like wearing bras. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like, you know, having long hair and doing this and that. And I just, yeah, no, I just didn't want it anymore. So I made the decision in my sophomore year of high school to cut all of my hair off. And when I saw the end result, I was so happy. I bought my, I think I bought my first binder when I was a sophomore in high school. And when I first put that on, it was the first time in a very long time where I looked at myself in the mirror and actually smiled. It, I guess it was that moment when I did all that stuff, I was kind of starting to be happy with how I looked. Like, cause I, I didn't, I didn't have I, I didn't have a large chest anymore. I didn't have long hair anymore. Like I stopped wearing makeup. Doing stuff um, like that made me feel a little bit more valid inside. And it helped out a lot. And it kind of helped, helped me shape who I was. I used to work for a craft store and a lot of the people that would come in were very rude to me when they'd see um, my name on my name tag and I put my pronouns next to it and I'd get some people who would look at it and they would laugh at it and they would ask me what kind of joke that was and I'd tell them it's it's not a joke these are my preferred pronouns I identify as male you know this is what I am and I've had people laugh at me and say you don't look like a you don't look like a man you look like a girl at first it was easy for me to kind of like you know haha roll my eyes shrug it off but then it started happening more often and I had people ask about it a lot. I've had way more bad experiences with that than good ones. I came out to my brother first and talking to him was great. My brother and I growing up never got along. We always fought, if I remember that correctly, we always fought, always like wrestled, made fun of each other, yelled at each other, and we didn't really start getting along until I was in high school. But the moment I decided to come out, I first came out to him and when I told him I couldn't hold back tears, I just started crying and I couldn't stop because I was afraid of what he would think. But he ended up looking at me and he, I remember him telling me like, that's cool, I really didn't like having a sister anyway or something like, something along those lines. Like he was like, I've always wanted a brother and it made me so happy. I just would start crying more and my brother was just kind of like, hey, it's cool. I don't care who or what you are. I love you for you. I came out to my mom and she didn't really understand at first. Because my mom is deaf, it's a little hard for her to understand the concept of a lot of things. Um, but once you like, you know, explain everything to her, she, she will like get the hang of it. So at first she was kind of like confused, like she didn't really know what I was talking about. And then when I talked to her more and told her about who I was and how I felt, she was kind of like, um, okay and at first she wasn't really there for it the whole time but then over time she was just kind of like okay okay she was getting it and uh, oh my gosh if i could say one thing about about all that i think one of the the greatest like memories i have after coming out with her is her taking our moving boxes when she moved to her new place um crossing out my dead name on them and writing aaron on them like seeing that just it made me want to cry <laughs> so
that see like seeing stuff like that from my mom is fantastic so my dad I came out to him in the car uh, when we were he was driving me back home my parents are divorced by the way they have been since I was a kid um, he was driving me home from a visit and uh, there was a song that he used to sing to me a lot growing up uh, and that song like I, I had that thought in my head like I have to do it because I don't really see him that often like I have to tell him he has to know but I was so afraid of I'm shaking like I'm, I get anxious I'm sorry um I was so afraid of how he was gonna react um and I, I, I guess I had every right to <laughs> uh but when he when I did come out to him at first he was kind of like you know, okay, that's fine. I, I still love you. And then later, I guess, like, we got more distant. And I still, I didn't believe him when he said that. Because um, he still uses my dead name. Like, still, he doesn't really use my pronouns at all. Just like, whatever. He'll, he'll be the way he is. I can't really control that. Um, but he and I just kind of... I would say we kind of stopped talking for a while. Um, and it's been, it's been weird. Uh, mostly because I, I just don't know how he really feels. I don't know if he's actually okay with it or if he, you know, doesn't care at all. So, some of the more positive things that have happened to me since coming out are making some new amazing friends, having a more supportive family, like my mom's side and my brother, um, like getting like, I think, I think coming out made my brother and I closer and I really, really love that. Um, it helped me get my job, <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's actually, it, it has actually helped me get uh, a couple jobs um, being trans. I, I worked at Lush for a while and the, the biggest thing that they wanted in their staff was diversity and when they found out that I was like transgender bisexual male they were like okay come on like we love you we want you here you're hired. I think the most important thing though is is family like I think it really got me and my brother closer and I'm really glad that I could say that even though like my brother and I are like 150 miles away from each other I feel like we're the closest we've ever been. Come out whenever you're ready it's okay there's no rush you just be yourself and keep doing you. Don't let the fear of what other people think about you affect how you find it, how you see yourself. And I've kind of gone by that for a really long time. And I think that other, like the younger generation should, should do that as well. Cause you know, conforming is a thing of the past.